Thanks a lot for tuning in and thanks for joining me, you guys. If you're already subscribed, really appreciate your support. If this is your first time, my name is Jimmy, and on this channel we do gear videos, technique lessons, and song lessons just like this one. So if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Now, of course, as always, you can check the description box below for equipment details, tips and tricks, and timestamps so that you can skip to different parts of the video. Now, this video comes about because of a great comment that was left on the song lesson for That Thing You Do. The comment was left by Unpleasant Chuck, who was actually very pleasant in his comment. And uh, he made mention of the, the last chord that I taught in that lesson, which was an E6. And he was right in uh, mentioning that that is the wrong chord to play at the end of the song. It's a cool chord, it works, but it's not the one that's on the recording. So in this lesson, I'm gonna show you uh, the ending to That Thing You Do with the correct chord. So again, shout out to Unpleasant Chuck. Thanks a lot for the great comment, and thanks to you guys for all of your great comments as well. Keep them coming. Let's keep the conversation going. Now let's go to the close-up, and let me show you the uh, correct chord to end that thing you do. Okay, so let me show you what we have going on here. This is not going to take too long. Here's the ending that I showed you in the last video. You're coming out of the last section with the vocals. <laughs> Last video I taught that with an E6 at the end. Now listening to the recording again and, and uh, finding some other videos on the song, uh, the chord that you can use at the end is actually an E major 7 instead of an E6. I'll show you two ways that you can play that. Uh, one way to play it is uh, here with the root at the 7th fret. So this is like a C major 7 here open, but then moved all the way up root at the seventh fret. So that's your fourth finger, seventh fret on the A string, third finger, sixth fret on the D string, and then your first finger is barred on the bottom three strings, fourth fret. So that's an E major seven. It might take a little practice if you're gonna add it to that ending, but here's how it would sound. Now the other voicing of the chord that you can use is uh, closer to the open position. This is also an E major 7. So this is 1st finger, 2nd fret on the D string. There's your E root note. And you can either use your 3rd finger or your 4th finger to bar the bottom 3 strings on the 4th fret. So there's an E major 7, E major 7. Here's what the ending looks like with that uh, chord that's closer to the open position. And again, all that is is an E major 7 with your root at the 2nd fret. Thanks a lot for checking out this adjustment for the lesson to that thing you do. And thanks to Unpleasant Chuck for the excellent comments on the last video. All right, and now for today's topic, let me know some of your song requests in the comments section down below. What would you like to see on the channel? Let's get that conversation going and see how we can help each other out. Thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this and hit that bell to get notified. And we'll see you on the next one.